How do you make a deal with an actor? Well, actor deals are made with the agent, so you never make a deal with the actor. So uh, it now it depends on whether or not you're, it's an offer or they've come in to read. So um, generally with stars or like, you know, number one on the call sheet or number one and two on the call sheet, so the two biggest parts in the script, those are probably going to be offers only. So um, you put a list together with a casting director and you get approval from your financer, whether it be a studio or a network. And you call the agent and you make the you try and make an opening offer that's going to probably be lower than what they expect and you know, where you give yourself a little wiggle room to go up. Um, and that's uh, sort of the, and then you know how much you can spend. And so then you get into a negotiation if they, if they read the script and want to do it. Um, then there are the rules that, you know, the casting director has sessions. And you go in and watch 20 or 30 actors play a part and then pick one. And uh, hopefully those deals are very easy to make because they've come in already and read for you so you know they want to do it and they kind of know how much money is in the budget for that role. Do you think a movie has to have at least one star or, or maybe more? Uh, I don't think it's up to me whether or not a movie has a star. I think that's up to the person who's financing it. So internet, if you're on a feature, the international marketplace will dictate whether or not they want a star and certainly the studio or network. Um, I, you didn't make a television movie without at least one recognizable star, uh, sometimes more than one. Um, I rarely made a television movie where there wasn't somebody that you knew either from movies or television really well, um, whose name or you know immediately rang true as somebody you knew or had seen. Um, I think in the independent feature business, you have more luxury because you have a captive audience. You know, in television, they got to tune in and stay. So you have this problem, which is I'm going to flip to another channel at 10 minutes in or 20 minutes in. And once an audience sits down in the movie theater or they've paid their eight bucks in pay-per-view on at their home, they're in. You got their money. You got their deal. But in television, they got to watch those commercials all the way to the last, you know, seventh act and eighth act. So it's a very different scenario. So, you know, we look at them very differently. True, they can, and they can pull their phone out in the movie theater, which they shouldn't be doing, mm -hmm. but, but you, you still have their, mm -hmm. their ticket sales. Yeah. So yeah, you don't lose them that way.